What's going on guys, Amazing YT here back with another video and today we're going to be going over the update overview for the 915 update. So let's get into it. Alright, so I'm a little late on this guys. I'm recording this like one day later. It's on Wednesday right now when I'm recording this. So um, my bad for getting this out a little late. But um, you know, I had I had school on Monday, Tuesday. So it was like my first classes. So I had to get, you know, uh, accustomed to it, right? So let's go over the update and see what we have here. So the first thing we're gonna go over is actually gonna be the Purin Poo event conquest. So if we go over here, you have the Purin Poo event conquest. You actually get these little Purin Poo invitations from literally anything in the game, really. Um, I've gotten them from free stages. I've gotten them from boss battles. I've gotten them from clearing hell demons. Um, I think you just get it wherever you clear like anything in the game. And then you use it to actually start a Purin Poo conquest. And how it works is you actually get a ton of rewards here, which are going to be the Purin Poo medals. And then you're going to be able to exchange it for a ton of stuff in the exchange shop. So you have some brilliant components. So, you know, the um, co cosmetic upgrades, right, which are super important right now. Um, you got some evolution pendants, anvils, treasure chests. Um, you got some hammers right there and then all this furniture right here which is super valuable too and then we have something unrevealed at the moment but we're gonna be getting something new next update which is pretty nice so that's basically going over the Purin Poo conquest event i think i'm gonna make a video on how to beat this event really quickly like the meta comp but um yeah that, that should be it for now on the Purin Poo conquest so the next thing we're gonna be going over is the ghost like um half -year anniversary ghost like event so how this works is you're gonna be getting these tickets right um you're going to be getting them through a ton of um, areas in the game, right? You're going to be getting through the coin shop. You can actually get them through, um, I think it's free stages also. I can check in the event notices here. We have the half anniversary drop event. So you get them from Fort Solgris and boss battles. So make sure you're completing both Fort Solgris and boss battles so you can get a ton of these drops. And then you can do the ghost like event. Another thing to note is we have share for rewards. So all you have to do is press the share button. Um, you back out of here. And then you instantly claim and you get a free event dungeon key, which is super nice, you know, a, a really stu really good thing to, to know, right? Next thing we have is the gold buyback event. So basically how it works is the, the amount of gold you use is going to be the item you acquire. So if you use, I think the max is what, 7 million gold right here? Um, you get all these rewards, which is super nice and you have 13 days to do that So you're, everyone's definitely getting that stuff right there next thing We're gonna have is the exchange shop for the summonable units So let's go over the banner first before we go over the exchange shop for them Um, this is the banner right here. I think I called it like I was on my discord. I was like yo 0 0.5 for each of them Um, and no other unfeatured units like that's what I was thinking and that's what the banner was right So you have the valentine's units at the top and then you have the um, New Year's units at the bottom right here. They're all 0.5%. So you have a random chance of getting either like any of them re really right um, But they did add a little feature here in the exchange shop where you're able to actually exchange two dupes for one of the characters so um, Depending on what it is like the Valentine's units You can only exchange for Valentine's units and then New Year's units You can only exchange for New Year's units But I've actually had to do some of this for some of my units like I had to get Jenna through this and I had to get Jericho through this Also demon Melly. so my luck on the banner was pretty bad. I did summon um, if you guys saw my last video like my video yesterday, I did a meme video Um, I did do all like a ton of summons there But uh, a lot of the audio got corrupted around the end. So I just decided to put that little meme Um of sonic laughing at me, but yeah, that's gonna be that next thing we have is the coin shop rotation here So if you go to the coin shop, we have gother on sale, which is super nice So definitely get your gother copy um for the gold coin shop We have a jericho and a red guild thunder dupe. So if you guys want to pick those up, um feel free and then we also have this little event like little box thing right here from my testing and from hearing other people's results with this thing um we've gotten pretty unlucky i don't think you ever get the ssr pendant from this yo like one of my friends in the discord actually got two rare pendants so overall i don't i don't know if that's worth it for a thousand when you can just pick up like an event dungeon key or some stamina for pvp but that's definitely up to you all right so another thing to note if you guys are going to be summoning for the valentine's units make sure to not buy any of these cosmetics right here these are trolling you right here yo none of these cosmetics give you the the bonus that you want for the um the hell demons right to find them you're gonna have to go to weapons and outfits and you're gonna have to scroll down until you see event right here so when it says event and it shows the like little purple outline that's when you know that it's gonna be available to give you that bonus so if you go here it'll show you that um it'll give you an alluring pure perfume if you get the max set with this so you got to pick up um two pieces on jenna you got to pick up two pieces on zaniri so you got to get the weapon and the headpiece and then for elaine you just need the headpiece so if you go to elaine right here um 
right here you only need just the headpiece and then you already have her base cosmetic and then you get the bonus right here because it only costs two um for the new year's units you're gonna need the two on the meliotis you're gonna need the two on the jericho and you're only gonna need one headpiece on the on the elizabeth right there right so she has her headpiece over here right she has elizabeth's headpiece demon melis um jericho's right so that's where you get all that stuff don't don't get fooled by the shop you have to make sure you're getting the right one for the bonus another thing to note in the shop they actually added a new bundle which i actually do recommend for a lot of free-to-play people or like light spenders you know what i mean um this bundle right here the daily acquisition bundle is so worth it yo when i first saw this i was like yo what are they doing bro they're giving you a part one ssr ticket every day so for seven days you're gonna be getting a part one ssr ticket and if you think about it that's seven free uh platinum coins for the platinum coin shop honestly i think that's probably like one of the best packs in the game so then you would have like a ton of coins you can pick up a gold or dupe um per se you could pick up like a coin shop unit like that's seven or um a 10 commandments on discount you know what i mean so that's just a super beneficial bundle i think that they released we also have a new check-in event which i didn't actually go over here but um but at the end of the check-in event we actually do get some uh uh, tavern furniture which is pretty nice you get like a few of them actually um there's the jukebox there's a wall right there um they have a table and then they have the um kitchen right there which is super nice and you're gonna be getting gold throughout the week which is actually a pretty nice bonus another thing to note is we also have the event for the villages where you get the pendants if you give them a million gold for each village so definitely make sure to max out your friendship on the villages to get those pendants because that's going to be super helpful for your box all right so that's going to be going over the update for the part two of the half year anniversary i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out